so let's learn about the sign of the torque so we know this torque equal to r cross f now the counter clockwise torque means torque is positive so counter clockwise means the torque will be like this so your rotation will be in the opposite direction of the clock now the clockwise torque is negative if the rotation is in clockwise direction like this the torque is considered to be the negative so how we can analyze this thing so this is your fixed point you have draw a straight line from the point to the force like this and you see you are moving towards left the force is acting towards left so basically you are going like counterclockwise so the torque will be the positive remember this thing similarly for this also this is a fixed point draw a straight line from the fixed point to the force given and you are going again in the left side so you are just doing the like this so it will be again the plus torque torque is positive so let's calculate the magnitude and sign of the torque so there are different forces acting and the fixed point is the center of the circle so for the force a just draw a straight line from the center to the force so this is your r vector so magnitude is r so the magnitude of torque is r into 2f and the sign you can see so you are basically going from there and we are moving a clockwise direction so your sign is negative so minus r into 2f now coming to the b force b here you can see the perpendicular distance draw a straight line to the force perpendicular to it so r by 2 so your force is r by 2 into 2f so is equal to r into f and the direction you are going from there and you are moving towards right side so basically this is a clockwise rotation so it is going to be again negative now coming to the force c you can see the force in the fixed point they are in the same line so i have told you so the torque will be zero and similarly for the force d you can see they are in the same line so again the torque is zero now for the force e just draw a line perpendicular to the force like this and the distance is r so your torque is r into f and what will be the magnitude so basically you are going from the fixed point and moving towards right so this is an anti-clockwise rotation so the torque is positive so plus r into f now if you arrange the torques so torque e is positive so it is greater now torque c equal to torque d their values are zero and now come to the torque b then torque yeah. Now, if you consider the magnitude, so torque A has larger magnitude, then torque B and torque E, they have the same magnitude, greater than torque c and torque d they have the zero magnitude 